Okay, boys and girls, uh, we are going to do a castle, or it could be a large building, and we're taking inspiration from Mary Blair, which uh, she was a designer, and uh, she was an artist uh, at Walt Disney um, uh, Animation Studios. So, uh, for this project, you guys can use, um, I'm using a construction paper, you can use uh, any paper uh, for the background, if you have any copy papers, you can use that. Uh, also, I'm using some sticky notes that I got. You can get sticky notes from Target, from a dollar store. I found these. These come in different sizes and different um, colors. Uh, if you don't have sticky notes, uh, but let's say I do have like construction paper, you can cut these into squares. Um, or, or you can I uh, use uh like white paper and color. It's my white paper. You can cut these in squares and color them. The other thing that uh, it might take a long time to color each square. So this is the version that you're going to do with sticky notes, okay? So, um, as you can see, I have my construction paper. And I'm going to start with sticky notes. I'm going to say uh, this is about the size of, of uh, if you have the big sticky notes, cut them smaller. Uh, I found these, these are like about a nice size. So, yeah, it's like uh, Mary Blair's uh, pictures of her castle and her uh, like other buildings. They're all uh, shapes. You have squares, you have rectangles, you have triangles, uh, circles, I think, and like uh, uh, some other shapes. I forgot what, what were they. But I'm gonna start with uh, the bottom part. So I'm gonna use different colors for mine. So here is the background, like I said. And yeah, oh, you might need a, a, a glue stick. Cause uh, even though there's a glue in the back of the sticky notes, they don't really hold, okay? So you need a glue stick. Uh, of course, uh, if you have a marker, Sharpie, pen, a crayon will work uh, to draw lines on your uh, on your sticky notes because we're gonna make a castle or a large building really. So I'm gonna start with this one here. Now of course you can see it does stick, but it only sticks uh, some of it. So we're gonna we're gonna glue these later, okay? Just for now we, we need to put the the bottom part. So I'm starting with this one. Maybe I'm gonna use some of the other sticky notes. So I have that. Maybe this is going to be like this. So I don't know how what my my uh, cast is going to look like yet. So I'm gonna start with just playing with these. Maybe this one's going to be something like this. So now I have that. So I know it's lifting up, which is fine. We'll get this big one here. Uh, this one is going to be right on here. There we go. So I know they're li if they're lifting up. You can start. You can actually start um, going these down. Like that. Hopefully they won't fall off. There we go. Okay, so here's that. Okay. Now let's see. I'm gonna continue using my uh, sticky notes. I think I'm gonna put these. I think this one's gonna be right here. Like that. Get some glue here. There we go. So I already have that. Oops, my glue stick. Let me see, maybe some orange. Some orange ones. Maybe this one. I'll continue going this way. Like that. And I'm going to leave this part purple. I'm going to do like a little door probably for that one. But I'm going to continue with this. Like that. And then maybe this one is going to be. Oops. Out of this. Like that. So, there's a little glue. I'm going to do this right here. Like that. Do this one right here. Okay. So, so far, so good. Let me continue getting more sticky notes. Uh, ooh, I have a green one. And I'll continue making this one right there. So. Like that, and this is gonna be the tower, one of the towers, actually. So, here's a little tower. Like that. That is, let me stop putting some glue. If I have the door open, and there's a little wind, and it might lift the sticky notes up. So, I'm um, doing this part like that. There you go. All right, now, my sticky notes came with this shape. This is like an arrow, so I'm going to use it right now, and this is going to be like that. 
Feels a little taller. Perfectly, yeah. Feels a little taller. Uh, I'll consider using the. See, I'm. I think I like these better. Uh, just because it's a square. Facing the same shape. Yeah, that works first. So just put your nose there first. Okay, now I can do it. Like that. And then, yeah. Yep, trying to be right here. Like that. Like this. There you go. I'm going to go in that spot. And actually, I'm going to keep going up with the pink sticky note. Like that. There you go. So, it's sort of a, a building. So, I'm using a green one. And I'm going to overlap it a little bit. So, maybe a little bit like this. There you go. And I'm going to use the pink one. I'm going to use this one over here. There you go. There you go. Oh, see, if it's, if, it's, if it's peeling up, you know, just put some glue on it. All right, let's see. Now, so far so good. Now, with your sticky note, and even with the construction paper, which I'll show you right now, let's say, let's say you have sticky notes, right? And you do have construction paper. And, but maybe you don't have a shape out of the, out of the sticky note that you want. So, just cut it. So, maybe it's going to be like that. Like this. So, I'm not sure what that shape is, but it's going to be, maybe, maybe that shape is going to be right there. And it's kind of part of the brick. So, and also, let's say you don't have sticky notes, right? But you do have construction paper. You can cut your construction paper into any shape and glue them. There you go. So. There's that. And... I want this into a triangle. So, no, not into a triangle. I'm gonna make this into like a little arc. So, cut it into a little arc. Ta-da, and I'm gonna glue it right there. This is not the arc, it's like half a circle. Like that. And this little arc, going to be over here at the bottom. Look at that. There you go. Oops, there's a problem there. Okay, so I'm going to leave this uh, space empty because that is the background, but I want to put something uh, on, on these two right here. So I'm almost done, so I'm, I'm still going to use the pink one. And for the pink one, I'm going to make it into a triangle. These are, these are going to be my triangles. So, just cut them like this. And actually, that's one triangle. I'm going to make this into two, two triangles. One. So I have, out of that one pink one, I made one, two, three. So for this one right here, see there's, there's some sticky notes in here, so I'm going to use this like there. Ooh. That's the biggest one. So it's going to be right here. So, put some glue on it. Like that. So that one is there. The small of these is going to be over here. Actually, it's going to be the rooftop for this one and one for this one. So, some glue here. Oops, my glue is running out. There we go. And that right there. And then one right here. Right there. Like that. Okay, now you have your little shapes of your houses. Now you can use your markers, uh, crayons, or a pen to draw uh, designs into the shape. For example, uh, this pink uh, square here. I'm going to make some lines. Like this. Some lines. Like that. Maybe my little roof is going to have little arcs like this. Just like this. Little arc. Just, you know, it's the roof. So here's my little arc. And here's my little 
like that. There you go. Something like that. Oops, there you go. That looks maybe this. I'm going to actually drop some some skinny rectangles. So here's the skinny rectangles like this, like that, and then uh, like this. So I'm, I'm just keep coloring in the skinny rectangles like that, like that, like this, like this, like this. Okay. So far, so good. Uh, for these, I'm gonna draw some flowers. One, two, three, and I'm going to do maybe like a little squiggly line like this, like that squiggly line. Now I have a black black sharpie, but like I said, you can use crayons. I'm gonna use uh, one of my crayons. Like crayons and a little plastic stick. It's not a color pencil. They're still crayons. It's just it has a plastic um, thing to grab onto. So uh, for this, maybe I want to do some some little wavy designs like that. So maybe this. I want to make some lines like this for this side, and then for the other side, I'm gonna use a different color. I use red, and then for that one. It's gonna go the other way, like this. Like that. Okay, there's this part needs something, right? So I'm gonna do like half a little circle here. Half a, half a little circle. Like this. Also going up here. Yeah. Half a little circle, so like this. And right here. I'm gonna use my marker. And maybe make some lines. Oops. Oh, like this. Maybe this is a ladder. Who knows? Maybe maybe this person needs a ladder. There you go. Oh, she needs a ladder. And maybe this little little triangle. Oops. You're gonna see that when you're coloring. Sometimes the sticky note might look up. There. Like it happened right here. Now this little entrance, so I'm gonna draw a little road coming this way. A little sidewalk probably. There you go. And then same thing, a little triangle here. Like that. Now, I think it seems like this thing needs something, right? So let's give it something. And actually, I noticed that this house doesn't have any blue sticky notes. So I'm gonna put two little sticky notes that are blue. So I'm gonna this one. Look at the little arrow going down, and then I put another one this way, and we'll put some blue over here so it doesn't look up. Get my blue, and there you go, and there you go. Okay, so. Um, here's my little castle, inspired by, uh, Mary Blair's, um, artwork that she did for Walt Disney. Um, continue to have fun, boys and girls. I hope you like this project. Those of you have a sticky note, um, you don't, if you don't have sticky notes, like I said, you can do it, uh, you can draw your castle. So once you do your castle, same thing, um, use, um, and I'm going to show you right now, now that I have time. Let's say, uh, you only have white paper, right? You don't have sticky notes, um, and then maybe you can do something like this. Uh, if you have a ruler, please use a ruler, and then maybe you wanna. I'm not gonna use a ruler because I don't have one right next to me, but same thing. Use shapes to make a castle. So right now I have a square. Oops, I have a rectangle, a circle, and a and a triangle. So this one will go the same way. Now I'm doing mine pretty a little bit pretty fast. Take your time when you're making yours, okay? So here's a little castle. Here's some, I'm using, we're just using simple shapes, okay? The basic shapes. So maybe just a little arch. And here's a little. And here's maybe, maybe there's like a little flag right here. So here's a little tower, a little rectangle, and a little windows. Now, 
this is just an easy version okay so let's say you do yours with a just a, a pen or pencil or marker and you're just drawing your castle your large building make sure to color these uh, make it as colorful as you can you can even draw um, characters uh, maybe you want to like, draw like a dragon that is flying over the castle uh, clouds so make it very interesting okay boys and girls hope you guys enjoy the the little project for you guys for this week thank you boys and girls see you guys next time